hello guys and now i'm gonna review this voice and uh, after the after the voice got booted up so i hate what it looks like the chart screen is here and uh, it looks beautiful so i'm gonna please log in into my account here and i'm, I'm gonna see what it looks like so here the os is what it looks like uh, yes you have a stable version here and uh, i'm gonna quickly check out the system information and uh, so uh, let's check out the kernel version here so we are using 3.0.20-24 generic kernel which is not a, a recent kernel the recent kernel is obviously 3.15 vanilla uh, it is a stable release uh, which is out for some distributions uh, so it is using a quite a old kernel not the newest one so that's not a problem again and these guys will update the os by the time so it, it's not a problem now uh, you get these files here and in the display you get the information here as you know you can check it out it is different for uh, other people also so here's the information as you know and uh, yes so we are using the 2.0 version which is the latest version release today only and uh, okay so let me check out some applications here what we get so here we get these applications and uh, let's quickly see and quickly take a look at each of them uh, you get cd and dvd bundle the standard cd dvd bundle you know uh, you get you can check out your desktop, you can change your wallpaper if you want you can configure, configure your display settings you can enable auto login, you get firefox as your default web browser and you can install additional software if you want, you can install your drivers if they are less and you can update your system if you want and uh, also you get uh, library office default so you can install the other offices if you want and uh, you get pdf viewer with this OS also uh, for viewing pdf files and uh, you can edit your settings if you want you can take screenshots so these are just basic apps if you want to check it out uh, you get vlc media pre install you can adjust the volume control so as you know mm. okay let's take a look at the terminal let me just check out the root password here Let's check out the memory here. Uh, there is not a lot of memory using here. It's quite free. Uh, depending on the RAM usage, you can install apps and things if you want. Uh, so you get the LX terminal as default, as you know. Okay. Yes, we're done. Okay. Let's check out other things also. You get uh, task manager also, so you can end end the apps individually if you want. Uh, you can arrange the desktop icons let's see about desktop settings yes you do get a lot of variety of wallpapers here as you can see uh, some of them are some of them are very beautiful and some of them are very cute uh, you can obviously check out if you want a lot of variety to choose from mm, i guess i'm gonna stick with one wallpaper here uh, this one looks cool that's fine I'm not gonna change each and every wallpaper here okay and uh, let's check out properties okay so here are the properties of the desktop so you don't more need it actually uh, let's check out VLC media player okay okay let's quickly check out the browser here and uh, let's see you get Firefox as a default web browser as you know it is common in all the distributions out there so here it, here it what it looks like and uh, okay uh, let's check out the um, yes you have a help manual here you can check it out if you want uh, it is based on 4104 actually the system environment is xfce for 4.10 and uh, you will see to do it for both options are 32 bit and 64 bit so you can choose between them and uh, yes you have a lot of shortcuts here if you want you can ch check it out 
and uh, I guess the install this installation guide will tell uh, guide you most of the things if you want. Those you uh, those who are uh, facing problem, you, you can check out the guide here. As I won't be able to re review each and uh, everything here, so you can check this out for the help and support. And overall, it looks good. Uh, it is stable for the daily use. I haven't thoroughly tested it, but I'm sure that it will be good for you guys. Uh, and you get Gparted edition for Gparted default start uh, install it. Okay, I guess that's it. Too. You can check out and explore the OS yourself. I have given a basic uh, review. Uh, you can check out the help manual as it is always already available here and uh, if you have any problem you can comment in the se comment section below or if you have a major problem yes you can go to the forums of this OS uh, I guess that's it you can check out the other things also by your own ok mm. I just forgot to check out the file manager ok so here here the f here's the file manager that looks like uh, so it looks good uh, icons are well defined and everything is clear they are not hazy pixels or anything and it looks good to me so okay i guess i'm gonna shut this down and uh, okay let's shut this down and, okay. and see so I just wanna say you thank you guys for watching please rate comment and subscribe if you have any queries or questions about any source or any other OS i have reviewed you can comment in the comment section below or if you have any problem uh, regarding any of the reviews i, I have done you can obviously PM me and tell me what's the problem or you can suggest me some changes in my reviews or you want me to review any particular thing I will do it uh, and that's not a problem so I just wanna say thank you guys for watching if you want more videos you can uh, please subscribe to my channel and give a thumbs up to the uh, video and uh, I guess that's it peace